Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. Now, I want to start by mentioning an interesting comment that was left below a, a video that I put on Rumble that said that we have pretty good production quality or value on the videos, but I need to work on engagement. And one of the suggestions that they made for keeping people engaged throughout the video is the use of a hook. Uh, a hook is a term that the context, at least that I am familiar with this term, is in the, you know, writing articles, journalism, that sort of thing. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's a great idea. I don't know what I was doing, not uh, doing that all along. And so I have come prepared with a hook in the form of a quote that I'm going to read to you now. It says, for any young democracy, the most difficult but important step is burying the legacy of tyranny and establishing an economy and a government and institutions that abide by the rule of law. I completely agree with this quote. And I would say that our democracy, if you want to call it that, I know everybody's going to be shouting about uh, constitutional republic, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what kind of government you have. The rule of law is one of the most basic building blocks, the foundation of a successful society. You have to know that the rules are going to be applied equally so that you can actually go out and do things like commerce. For example, it was mentioning uh, the economy there. How can you think that you're going to have an effective economy if the rules don't apply equally or if the government can just make stuff up and come after their political opponents? Well, I'm going to tell you that right now, as we speak, our former president, Donald Trump, is being subjected to uh, not the rule of law, the opposite. There's a place called New York where they are currently working to undermine the rule of law in this country and destroy everything that we hold dear. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that coming up in just a second. And I'm going to tell you who this quote came from. You'll never believe it when you hear it. Anyway, stick around. We'll be right back. Thanks for sticking with us. So before I get too far into this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you where this quote came from. As I said, you're never going to believe this, but the person talking about the rule of law here is Joe Biden. That's right. That's a quote from Joe Biden. I don't know if that's like the younger Joe Biden, and I don't know if that's actually him or if he like, you know, stole it from somebody else because he has a tendency to do that. But uh, true words coming from a, a true fraud. Anyway, yeah, the rule of law right now in New York, you've probably heard former President Donald Trump is on trial and uh, they're saying that he's used, you know, money to hush money payments or something for the Stormy Daniels character. Supposedly there was a relationship there at some point, even though documents have been signed, you know, legal documents saying that none of that ever happened. But just the same, supposedly there were some hush money payments made. And these payments were made through Donald Trump's former lawyer who has perjured himself and gone to jail for tax evasion. But uh, that doesn't matter because, you know, we can totally believe all of that. But just the same, hush money payments are not necessarily illegal. I guess what they're trying to say is that uh, the way that he did it was wrong. Because it wasn't written down right, I guess, in the books. He, he gave it to uh, the lawyer and said it was legal fees, even though I'm not sure. I don't know all of the specifics, but uh, let's say this is wrong. Okay, it, it was written down wrong. That's a misdemeanor, apparently, according to the law. Well, that's not what Donald Trump is being charged with. Somehow, they, uh, because the, you know, the prosecutor decided so, the misdemeanor charge now is a felony charge. I guess in New York, you know, you they can just make up whatever they want. If you uh, cross the street at the wrong place, you might think like, okay, yeah, there's a possibility the cops are going to give me a ticket. More than likely, they're just going to shout at me and tell me to get out of the road. But now you know there's a possibility that if the prosecutor gets a little bit excited about things, they might just say that you crossing the road is a felony. And now they can just make up whatever punishment they like. Kind of like that other trial that Donald Trump went through, that fraud trial that was a fraud. Yeah, they uh, they just pulled that uh, that fine out of the air. I, I would like you to find out uh, what book or where that's written that uh, the fine in these kinds of cases that wasn't a, a crime, by the way, where they came up with this $450 million fine. It doesn't happen. There's no 
case of that happening anywhere, I'm sorry for my way of saying this, but, uh, you know, I'm not always the most articulate person in the world. Yeah, they just made it up. So apparently in New York, the uh, the judiciary, the, the uh, legal system, they can just make up whatever they want. They can fix any punishment to any crime, and they can change how severe the crimes are depending on who you are. If they like you, they don't like you, what political affiliations you have. Yeah, it's total corruption. In fact, you know, I always thought that uh, Illinois and Chicago were probably the most corrupt places in the country. No, nah, it's New York. <laughs> this is terrible. You know, they're, they're not even pretending. This is just ridiculous. They know that this is totally ridiculous. I don't know how so many people bind. I guess that they're just so blinded by their hatred of Donald Trump that they will just go along with it. Like, yeah, look, the, the court, you know, because they're so upright and perfect and would never do anything wrong or corrupt. They said that he's guilty of, you know, hush money payments, even though uh, hush money payments are not necessarily illegal. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a crazy thing. I just thought you guys might be curious about that. And I wanted an excuse to try some new things with the uh, the, the video here and editing before I, I do some other videos that I'm going to be doing. Now, I know, uh, by the way, last night we were supposed to do a live stream. Didn't get to do it. I was dealing with some things with my son. It happens. I mean, live streams. I, I've also discovered something. If you guys, well, this maybe I'll save this for another video so that you guys don't get uh, bothered by it. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with the live streams. I don't know if it's better. The, the quality is better with the video, right? But it's not as interactive, so it's not as fun. You get more views with the live stream, but uh, I never mind. Anyway, I better leave it at that. You guys will have to tell me what you think. Is this the rule of law being attacked? Thank goodness it's just in New York, right? Or is it going to spread elsewhere? We'll see you guys in the next one.